the last lesson, we left off with dealing with this function. f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. We had found that 2 is a 0 of this function, since when we substitute it in, the entire function comes to equal 0. From this, we learned from the factor theorem that x minus 2 must be a factor of the polynomial. So we're one step on our way to writing f of x in fully factored form. We know that eventually we'll be able to write it as x minus 2 times a bunch of other stuff. But what is that other stuff? Well, to find it, we're going to need to divide this expression by x minus 2. In particular, we're going to use long division. That's what we'll look at next.